So the, 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 this, the second video is about uh, uh, what should I do today? Where should I stop or, or what's expected from me for today? So I am asking you to start writing the case study. I think that at this point of the project, if you at least completed one or two interviews, I think you have enough data to write at least 1,000 words. I think that seems reasonable. Um, but it's not written in, in stone. If you can only write 500 words, that's okay. 300 words, that's okay. At least, at least write two or three paragraphs and structure your whole case. Um, and if you can write 2,000 words, that's okay. It, it, it's okay. It doesn't mean that it's good or bad. It's just, just do something. And something that I want to highlight is that this is a continuous process. So it is possible that uh, later on, maybe you can go back and delete something or change something. Maybe next week after you do more interviews, you might go back and you delete something and change it. But that is not a defeat. That is not bad, not at all. That is perfectly fine. That is awesome. Because if you didn't write it and you didn't erase it, that means that you are not learning and you are not improving. In order to improve something, you have to write it and delete it. Like it's impossible that you will get it right in the first try. That, that's uh, the worst jobs or the worst, the worst uh, papers, chapters that I have read are like that. Like I, I, I can see that they wrote it just uh, in the first try and, that, and they didn't change anything. They didn't improve it. So don't worry, like write uh, something and you will have to change something later on. It's, it's normal. Of course, you are not going to rewrite everything or at least that's the objective because sometimes we have to rewrite everything. I think I did my thesis like three times. I, my thesis is like 100,000 words long, the PhD thesis, and I, I'm sure I wrote three or four times that in drafts. So, but that's extreme case and I had five years to do that. So don't, don't, comp no, it's not comparable. But if you wrote a thousand words today, uh, probably you, you can change a hundred, one paragraph, that's perfectly normal, don't worry about it. So it's a continuous process, be, be, be conscious about it. The second thing is uh, you, sh you, should, you should have learned a lot about the, doing the interviews, like maybe something new that you didn't consider. So bring that into the paper so if you have to change something from the theoretical framework, also you can do that. Um, if, if there is something that you want to change from the questionnaire, also it's the time to do that and you can ask me. So uh, you are going to go to the field in this week again to finish with the data collection. So it's important that there is something that you can improve, you improve it today. And finally, something that can be helpful, it's not, um, it's not good or bad to have diagrams like figures, like you can, for instance, maybe uh, prepare a timeline when you explain the story about the implementation of the software, that seems good, it can work out. And it is, it is a good practice because you can write it and if it, if it doesn't look like it belongs in the paper, you can just keep it for yourself, but I think it can help you to structure the, the paper. And it, is, it can also help you to present the paper in the, in the second partial presentation or even in the final presentation. Even if you don't put it on the paper, it is useful to have uh, conceptual maps or diagrams or timelines where you show uh, some of what is going on. It's not a, a rule, it's not something that I am asking you to do, it depends on you, but I think it's good practice. So if you want, you can, you can keep on working on this. So in the end, the task for today is to um, write the first one or two paragraphs about your case study, then start writing the case, or at least structuring the case, bringing out what you came out from the theory. And uh, the homework will be to continue with the interviews. Again, the homework will be to uh, do the schedule for the interviews, because I think uh, this is the last week for data collection or the main part of the data collection. You can go on another interview maybe later on, but the most of the interviews should have mm, been done by the end of the next week. So. Um, uh, the homework is only to go and collect more data. You don't have to worry about the case. The, for today, the activity is to start writing the case, but from homework is to finish with the interviews. So 
For the quantitative paper, I think that we need to discuss your findings from the survey. And I think we can do, we can start modeling something. Uh, you can share with me your data set. Um, it is important that you have at least 50, well, I don't know, well, sorry, I, that, that's the whole um, sample. It is important that you have maybe 25, 30 surveys, so we can do something with the numbers. So maybe if you have half of your objective, that would be great. Um, so we can start doing some numbers because you remember, like if, if we didn't get anything, we have to do a plan B. So that, that will be everything for today about the videos. Now just focus on writing your case and let me know if you have any questions.